Hey, welcome back to another video. If you've been following along with the channel, you probably know already we got a brand new four-wheel camper, Project M, that we're super excited about. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for checking out the video. We're gonna be covering just the four-wheel camper, Project M, what it has, the options. It's bone stock, we haven't done anything. It's right off the factory floor. It's only a few days old. And then in the future, we'll be doing some build-out videos, another walk-around video once we get all of our little modifications and tweaks done to it. Uh, so let's jump into this walk-around. Starting right here on the passenger side, we have this window. I optioned for the smaller window. It has a sliding glass with a screen in it. You can get a bigger window or you can get a solid side that's a hatch that opens. These exterior gear tracks are an option. Obviously, I chose them. You can select not to have them installed. On each corner of the camper, there's these jack mounts that are used to install or remove the camper, but you can also use them to mount accessories. Around the back of the camper here, we have this big hatch door with a glass window, locking latches, an LED third brake light that they wire in for you, two struts that assist with popping the top, and the hatch has two struts on the interior that help with lift assist on that. There's a plastic edge here that overhangs the tailgate, and one of the best perks about the Project M is you get to keep your tailgate and whatever accessories or setup you have back here. I have a dual swing rear bumper, or if you have bike racks, any of that stuff, you can keep it. A lot of slide-in campers require you to remove your tailgate, and they overhang and you have to get rid of whatever you have mounted back here. Here on the driver's side, we've got a window. You cannot change this window. This is an emergency fire exit window, so you can't delete it. You can't get a different size. That's what you get on the camper. Again, gear tracks on this side, you can option for them or not. Two more jack brackets like I explained on the other side. Up here on the front edge of the camper, we've got latches. There's six of them all the way around the camper. I'll show you that in a second. Two more struts that help lift assist the pop top. And then let's jump up to the roof real quick. Up here on the roof of the camper, it's one solid sheet of white aluminum. that helps keep everything weather tight by making it one piece. I optioned to have them put gear tracks in the roof. You can choose not to do that. I also optioned for one max fan to be installed. You can pick to have a second one if you want. I didn't feel I needed that. I didn't want the second max fan because I wanted plenty of room for a bunch of solar panels up here. You can also have them install solar for you. It is pre-wired for solar wiring though up here on the roof so there's a plug right in the roof that's going to be super convenient down the road that wraps up the exterior let's head inside thanks to the folks on the forum for recommending this little giant step ladder they make a two-step and a three-step gotta take the shoes off though it's still brand new inside here on each side is a built-in shelf uh, we primarily use it for seating it's structurally super strong because it's part of the wall system it's also how it mounts to the truck bed. The Toyotas use the OEM Toyota bed rail system. The four-wheel camper mounts this piece of angle aluminum underneath to secure the camper. You can get gear tracks here on the wall. I did not choose them, but you can see here where the aluminum structure is, so you could add them later if you wanted, or you can have four-wheel camper do it. There's a solid glass window in the front of the camper here that looks through into the cab. And then in the back corner here is a fire extinguisher that four wheel camper installs for you. Now it's time to pop the top up, but we got to undo the six latches on the exterior of the camper first. So we've got a latch here and a piece of wood that we're going to be pushing up on. So we take a little bit of tension off get the latch open and then push up on both of these at the same time. Grab this little strap, wrap it around the handle and latch it. So that's the back half. So to lift the front, you've got this long wooden bar that goes to the front to act as a lever. Unsnap it, push down a little bit to raise the front up and push forward at the same time. So push it forward till it latches and then we have another strap here with a separate buckle and that holds that bar up. Now that it's up, you can get rid of these bungee cords that help pull the material in from the sides while you close it. So our bedding preference is specific to us. We've had good experience with what we were doing in our last camper, so we kind of stuck with it. Four Wheel Camper does offer a mattress. You can get theirs. I, I honestly haven't tried it, so it might be great, but we were super happy with an X-Ped in our last camper, so we're just sticking with that, so I did not purchase the four-wheel camper mattress. So we have an X-Ped under here, a sleeping bag, and four pillows stacked here on the edge, and that all fit with the camper closed. Super impressed with that. Now that I have the bed kind of situated, you can see here's the movable platform. I'll show that in a minute. Here's the X-Ped, our sleeping bag, 
and then our pillows are now situated up top. When the top was closed, I had the pillows here on this edge that I extended out just slightly to fit the pillows. So the first couple nights we've spent in this, we kept the bed in this position and that was plenty of room just for the two of us. But those of you with uh, bigger families or that are too tall to fit left to right here, this bed pulls all the way out to a king size bed. It would be massive. You could fit a whole second X pet up here if you wanted to. We just don't need the room. I'd prefer to keep this open for hanging out, changing. So then to close it, you just slightly lift up underneath and it goes back in underneath the mattress. So pre-mounted in the ceiling, this is not an option. It's, you don't have to buy this extra are these four LED lights. There's, they're touch. And then if you hold the button, they dim. So it's super convenient and it remembers what dim level you had it set at. So once I turn it off, you can turn it back on and it's at the same output. And then this Max Air Fan, super awesome. It comes with a remote control, a LCD display. You can just push a button, the lid opens and the fan turns on to whatever temperature and percent that you left it at before. So now the fan's on blowing air in, or I can reverse it and it will suck air out. We used this the first couple nights and it made it so nice in here. One of my wife's favorite features of the new camper is this pre-mounted mirror from Four Wheel Camper. She can stand right here, it's perfect height. She can do her makeup or whatever else right here inside the camper without having to go to the cab of the truck. A little closer up, here's that bungee cord I was talking about pulling in the material when you close it. It just has a metal ring here. This is a thermal pack. It keeps uh, the camper a little more insulated. This was an option. You don't have to get this one, but we want to do some cold weather camping, so we opted for it. It's all Velcro around the edges, so you can open it. Then this is the stock included uh, material here on the exterior. You can pull that down. We got a clear, solid uh, window, but no air comes through, so you can get some light. Or you can open this up, and here's some screen mesh, and now we're getting wind through here. You can also do like half windows if you just want a little bit of a little bit of wind but you don't want to have people looking in your window right here and you just get the upper strip and there's four of those windows inside this camper uh, like i was talking about on the exterior that second max fan it would have gone over the bed but since this is a short bed tundra i didn't think two fans within a couple feet of each other was necessary i'd rather have that solar room so as a very temporary power solution I'm using my little 500X Goal Zero here to power the camper. Here's some included pre-wired stuff from Four Wheel Camper. This is a black and green wire that's already inside the wall of the camper that can power a rear camping light or some sort of auxiliary light. Uh, I didn't choose lights on the rear, um, but I'm gonna be adding some of my own. This yellow and black wire power the interior lights and the roof uh, max fan. I have that just connected to a little 12 volt um, pigtail that goes into the goal zero. This thick red and black wire is 10 gauge. I asked four wheel camper about it. These are your solar wires. So this is what's coming from the roof plug and it's pre-wired down here to the cab. So if you put some like MC4 connectors on it or an Anderson plug or something, then you can use it with whatever power system you're choosing. So again, this is all temporary. We're working on trying to figure out how we want to build out the interior. Right now we're just using a bed rug mat, not the full bed rug system, but just the floor. It made it super comfortable the first couple nights. We're thinking some sort of enclosure here. Some guys are building them all the way out here, but I don't think I want to take up that much bed space. So I'm thinking something kind of slim that fits down here. We can store stuff in these corners. And then, I don't know, it's a, it's a work in progress. We'll play around for a couple trips and see what we want to do. We're even thinking of using a couple of those nice aluminum Zargis style boxes to keep some stuff in that we take out and then having the smaller stuff in the corners. Let me know in the comments what you guys would do. Um, I'm open to all ideas, whether it's, you know, living out of some sort of box or building out a full system in here, adding storage to the side, I don't know. There's so many options out there. We're gonna take a few trips to figure it out. We're also thinking about maybe moving the fridge from the cab to the front of the bed here, or building a, another bench across the front so it would complete a full C-shaped seating area, but the fridge would take up some room. So there's a give and take. Um, it would be nice to have the food in here if we're trying to hide out from the weather and be able to camp and eat all inside here, cook, all that stuff. But it's going to take up a lot of room, so we got we to gotta figure all that out. Well, that's going to wrap up this walk-around tour of our brand new Project M from Four Wheel Campers. 
This is it in the popped up position. It's so awesome. We can't wait to start exploring with this thing. We're going to be bringing you some future build out videos, a bunch of trips, a bunch of events. Uh, we're going to be heading to Overland Expo in Colorado in August with four wheel campers. So if you're there, come say hi, check out the truck. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. We'd appreciate it and we'll see you on the next one.